Hi guys. What up? Uh, we had planned on having our budget written out on our website, all that good stuff. We planned on being really prepared and like actually taking this serious and then it didn't happen. Well, not necessarily. It's going, it's going to happen. It, we have it all written down. We have a spreadsheet. Um, so we do plan on having that information up soon. Basically what it comes down to is we're still working on our website and is the least facet of our online presence that we've actually worked on to this point. Yeah, it's not looking great. It's about halfway done. About that. The reason why we're bringing this up is during this episode we talked about our budget and, you know, now we're actually pretty much 100% done with our build as mm -hmm. of this week, which is just absolutely nuts. It is. And in the episode, we said that we are going to have a budget breakdown on our website, and we just don't have that yet. So Monica is going to tell you a little bit about our budget right now. So we did talk about how we upped our budget quite a bit. And it continued um, to be up throughout the rest of the process. <laughs> it sure did. It just honestly got to the point where we're like, you know what, we're going to do this and make it comfortable for ourselves and do it the way we want it to be done. Um and so we ended up being four grand over our budget. <laughs> it's fine. We still have plenty in our savings and we love this bus. So. Sure, and each other. I love oh, you. Uh, yeah, I love you too. Part of the budget, I should have said earlier, is that we did get quite a bit of preventative maintenance done on the bus. Like yeah. $2,600 worth, $2,700 worth. So, uh, we ended up. plane didn't help our budget <laughs> no we ended up getting our bus originally for four thousand dollars and we knew we were going to have to put a couple thousand dollars of preventative maintenance into it which that put us over our bus budget the easiest way that we could have stayed on budget to what we were estimating was to buy a cheaper bus so you know if you're in the early stages of this process and you're looking at a budget stay within your constraints when it comes to looking at a bus that may mean that you have to pass up a bus you like more because it's more expensive. But if you want to stay in your budget, look for a cheaper bus. Yeah, I mean, we could have made our build not as nice as it is, but we didn't want that. We didn't want to just like throw a bed in it and live in it, so. But then again, I also like Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace every we single did. fucking item in this bus, so. Yeah, we did. We did do pretty good with that. All right, so we promised to get our act together. The website will come to fruition soon. We will then list out all of our expenses in detail so you can learn from our mistakes and our previous purchases. Uh, a little fun thing is that there's a little tidbit of information within this vlog, which will have you guessing to what the next couple vlogs could be about. So look forward to that. And do you have anything else? No. All right, enjoy the vlog. Bye, Monica. Bye. Oh, I'm coming with you. We got our first frost overnight. I remember when I was a kid, my mom was um, like drinking coffee or a soda or something. And we're, I think the D.A.R.E. program we just started at school and I was like, oh my God, my mom's drinking and driving. <laughs> She's not supposed to be doing this. We are going to my brother's house in Gerald. Again to Gerald. To get the welder. Because my dad's welder broke yesterday. We've been keeping track of our expenses really well, like in pretty good detail. Um, but we hadn't actually like recalculated what we spent. So made a spreadsheet, added all that up, and we were like $9,400. Our original budget was ten thousand, but we have we very quickly changed that <laughs> to a more realistic uh, budget. 
So the other thing budget wise is the more money we spend on the bus is more money out of our savings which is keeping us on the road for the time being until we can establish ourselves in this lifestyle. We've saved appropriately over the last year and a half and both of us have budgets that are going to keep us sustainable for around a year and a half on the road as of right now. We're hoping that that is a good period of time to get the vlog going, our blog going, our Instagram going, to kind of establish a flow with some of the freelance video I hope to do. And then Monica is also a really good photographer and has a myriad of skills when it comes to arts and chocolatiering and pastry. So we feel pretty confident that we'll be able to establish some form of line of financial means for us over the next year. We've also talked about just doing like a seasonal gig where we'd get jobs with the park services or something that is more in line with what we hope to be doing on a daily basis, which is just engaging with nature and not being in the same type of lifestyle we were living previous to this. No, no touching the camera. No touching the camera. <laughs> All right. All right. We have a welder. We have a welder. We have a new hat. And my camera has been de child fingered. <laughs> yeah, they get really excited about your camera, don't they? I really like to wrestle and punch your butt. And punch your butt, that's a new thing. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, excuse me, what are you doing? It's a real lot. Uh, oh, he gave me presents. Uh, yeah, those are presents. And he said, easy on the he's merchandise. Got option for you if you can't oh, that'll fix work. this up with him. Yeah, that'll work. That works. So if someone didn't have a band saw, what would they use to cut metal like this? You could use a grinder with a cutoff wheel. You could use a hacksaw. Uh, they have chop saws that you can put abrasive blades in that aren't real expensive. This is a really terrible view, but this is a J hook that has been welded in, thanks to Jim. And we're gonna slip the gray tank, the back end into it, and then have a latching front hook so we can still get to our battery when need be if we need to replace it. can see I hand painted it so I need to buy like a little okay. tiny roller brush and go over it so that the consistency of the paint looks the same because it kind of looks like shit right now Hold on. how's that working not bad all right, Cole. Yeah. Um, so we got the half circle piece. 
pay me that. If I take you down, would you really hold me down and be your best friend? She just wanna hit me with a quickie by the pool and I'm like, yes, ma'am. When you got me feeling for your body, you might turn me to a yes, man. Oh, yeah. 80 and a 40, I'm a nervous bitch, I'm flatter than your ex, man. What we did is we fed a bolt that Jim had laying around from a previous project through the floor and then just fed into the bracket that we welded to that piece of metal around the tank. So instead of doing like an upper, you know, an upper metal bar, we just did the bolt, made it a little bit more simple. Hey, yo. Queens get the money, homie, listen, see, it's crazy there. Sail side avenue, coolie girls with the baby hair. Chicks with small feet, copping Jordans, they want the baby pair. Lyrically, they know that I'm repping, you see, I'm wavy, yeah. Dealing with some family matters, homie, where the winds lows. Check it out, my ends grow, cruising in the bend slow. Don't try to flex on me, homie, it's something you should know. I get hard when I want to, see that my dude's a flow. I'm 21, I had a way to confide him. That 38 up in my pocket, homie, problems obliging. My homicidal flow, see, that's regular, son, I love you. Serial killer tricks ain't for kids, they in the club too. Faith without works is dead, that's why I keep the Glock on me. Key to the game. So, you know what next week is? Next week is Washington, Kentucky. Yeah, you know what Sunday is? First game is of the World Series? I have no idea. Monica and my nine year anniversary. Ooh. And he's gonna celebrate it by working on the bus. <laughs> well, we yeah, we are gonna be working on the bus. But I saw Josie this week. Yeah. And I brought her my grandma's engagement ring from 1952, and we got it fitted with the band this week. So I'm not necessarily old fashioned, but I figured I'd let you know that I do plan on proposing to Monica next weekend. No kidding. Yeah. I'd love to have you for a son-in-law. Well, I'm going to be happy to be there. That's so. awesome. So, my plan... Honestly, I don't have much of a plan. <laughs> really awesome. She doesn't have a clue. Yeah. At all. So, we'll see how she reacts. Yeah. I'm just hoping she doesn't faint. <laughs> I'm hoping she's just not a fainter. Honestly, I'm hoping we can work on the bus earlier on in the day, so hold off until the afternoon to do the whole thing. <laughs> oh, no, I am so happy for you guys. That's awesome. I really am. Here, why don't you, can you hold this up and hold this like this and over there maybe? <laughs> Jim's going to give it a throw open. Oh wow, that's the best looking hole I've ever seen. That's right. Let's see if the propane tank fits in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ta-da! She's a beaut. The door was a little flimsy, so we welded on, what would you call that? Just a steel just bar? Just a strap, yeah. Same material we used to make some of the hangers and stuff from. All we have to do is figure out a latch, how we're going to latch them, maybe a cam lock. Steady yawning them up. I wept the cold about my eyes. I'm feeling tired as fuck. But hold up, I hit the studio last night. It was kinda late. And that was stupid of me, yes, cause now I'm running late. Tick tock, tick tock. Wrist watches past nine and sit pop. Hip hop to it, I got flex time. Between the hours of nine and ten, I get clocked in. So if my supervisor don't see me, then I'll be locked in. I'm in the rush of leases, so I gotta keep it brief. Hold up, it's for a minute, let me brush my teeth. Okay. 
up in the shower quicker than the nigga cheating. Cops are flexing all their power from the shit up on the weekend. That took place, shook J. Fucking they boring. Matter of fact, but to the issue is official. Good morning. Good morning. So it seems like the oven is fully functioning. Uh, the only thing that is not functioning is the gauge on the pipe, and I paid an extra 25 bucks to have that gauge. So yeah. we may end up returning the the line overall, but I guess this will be the last thing that we do today. Oven's working, and even uh, fell back to the pilot light after it warmed up. And uh, all four burners are working, just have two of them on right now. So we'll continue to do more restoration of this uh, in the upcoming weekend. And uh, I decided that I'm going to take a, a mental health day tomorrow, and we're going to mentally health work on some under storage on this bus tomorrow, and take advantage of the 64 degree weather we're going to have in late October in St. Louis. So, did something like run across our panels, or what? Why does it look like that? Huh. I think it's just wind. I think it's Something wind like, that, that pushed it. Yeah, that is dirty. Palin, the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Since we're done with our builds, we are days, moments away from leaving. Um, we just have to sell Cole's car. Yeah, which I do have a prospective buyer who's actually also a subscriber of ours now. So, hello to you. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're hoping that that gets sold pretty soon. We did get back from our first actual adventure with the bus. We went to Mark Twain National Forest. Yeah, it went really well. We didn't do a whole bunch of vlogging. I'll probably put together a little video for Instagram uh, this week with our trip details. Mm -hmm. uh, just because I'm not going to make a regular vlog out of that. Yeah. Um, but we'll have our first adventure videos coming up. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we are headed to Virginia first, so if you have any suggestions of where we should go on the way or after that, let us know. All right. Bye. Bye.